This is Fox 6 News. Finding warm and loving homes for animals, that's the goal of the Humane Society. But tonight, one executive is facing criminal charges. And facing what seems to be a mutiny from her staff. They've even started a Facebook page against her. So what did she allegedly do? Fox 6 investigator Megan Dwyer is here with this. Megan. And the executive director of the Sheboygan County Humane Society is in big trouble tonight. Prosecutors say she was caught illegally buying prescription drugs, saying they were for animals. I have an exclusive interview tonight with the veterinarian caught in the middle. As executive director of the Sheboygan County Humane Society, she was tasked with taking care of the area's most helpless animals. And as executive director of the Wisconsin Puppy Mill Project, I'm Eileen Ribbons. She wanted more oversight for dog breeders, but now she's the one in the doghouse. On Wednesday, the Sheboygan County District Attorney charged Eileen Ribbons for illegally obtaining prescription animal medication. Police reports and court records allege she illegally ordered one. 1,000 pills of tramadol hydrochloride, a powerful pain medicine. She used the Wisconsin Puppy Mill Project's credit card to pay the bill and then lied to coworkers, saying she was ordering the pills for a dog who couldn't afford the meds out of, quote, the kindness of her heart. But she later admitted to police she actually fed X the pills to her sister and her niece. I called um, the Sheboygan Police Department, made a complaint, uh, told them what I knew. Dr. Frederick Lord has been the Humane Society's veterinarian for the last decade. He says Ribbons used his information to order the drugs. And when he found out about it, he had no choice but to report her to police. The bottom line above everything else is. We are not the guilty party. We are not the charged party. Uh, we have been caught in the middle of an illegal action, and uh, we'll do whatever we can do to see that uh, the shelter functions and runs uh, in a manner uh, suitable for this county. Ribbons allegedly ordered the pain meds last summer, but police didn't start investigating until January. That's when Humane Society volunteers and former workers started a Facebook page called Dirty Dog Tales to bring to light the truth about ribbons. But the Humane Society's board of directors say they stand 100% behind her, and she will keep her position as executive director. Eileen Ribbons is a very ethical person and is highly regarded statewide as an advocate for animal welfare. There is absolutely no merit and no reason to bring these charges. Now, I did call Eileen Ribbons multiple times today. I even went to the Humane Society to get her side of the story. Her car was in the parking lot, but nobody would answer the door. Her first court appearance is tomorrow morning. You tried. Um, I went I on that Facebook page that you mentioned in your story, which is so interesting. I noticed one woman was asking about her dog that was there. Do people need to be concerned about their animals? Uh, from what I know, no. The people that work there are still very competent. The veterinarian that I spoke to today said that the staff members who are still there, it's been a really difficult working environment, but the animals are fine and they are well taken care of. So the Sheboygan County Humane Society wants to make sure no matter what happens to Ms. Ribbons, that there's no backlash. So keep bringing your dogs. All right, Megan, very interesting. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, guys. Thank New you. New at 9, opening up their file.